What's the time? Playtime! Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please, help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! 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 Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning catnap doll. Now with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap.
Miss Harper, please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand and mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes. A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. A and her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her, see how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. Bubba Bubba Flint. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you?
I'm Chicken Chicken. Want to go outside and hang out? It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? I'm here. Follow me. I'll step out first. around at the world today what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once money I never have enough understanding I can never get any faith the common man has lost it each answer was different and I could perhaps see some little truth in each but I think each was also missing something something simple you see not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile?
to the gas production zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the Red Smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that Red Smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done.
Use it to get into home sweet home. Then once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck! Tragic news this morning, as of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig, an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large... Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say, quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man, and those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law.
Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his recluse... Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, 
their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home. Fire in the hole. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very, very sick. We want to make him better, but he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now, let's get you on back to bed. Oh, okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better.
actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. You've been through so much. You deserve an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave what's happening down here is bigger than all of us and I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you who've tortured us they didn't act alone they're disciples of the original the prototype do the honors Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy, you killed Mommy, you freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Here is pretty simple. 
Speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. you? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Hmm? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward. 
forward to finding out. that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it, and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class.
Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? On three with me! One, two, three! Heh, <laughs> didn't get very far, did we? Again! One, two, three! Nope, still didn't make it.
that, Richie? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. But, uh, really? Really? Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that graph. An honest, hard-working man. You prove me right? I said your chances are pretty good. Wow. I, uh... Geez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody.
Happy Bear Hug! Wanna know how much I love you? I love you to the moon and back! You're a puppy's angel. 
come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Nor in catnaps from Angel. There, home. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototypes control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. They says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! should have a 
Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You opened that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. 
I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? What kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says testing. What does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this. How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I, I don't. I'm sorry. Corn, can you help me with my painting? Pass me the blue, please. Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? Thank <laughs> you. 
to end this.
Good, you're here. And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place, thanks to you. But if we're to keep going, then... Then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co-workers. You want to know what happened. And why. This... This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. Agonizingly long. They try to hide, to run, anything to stay alive. I remember their cries. What's going on? Why is this happening? What are those things? <laughs> Senseless slaughter, that's all it really was. They killed everyone. The guilty. The innocent didn't matter. All of that death didn't fix anything. And then, once it was all over, they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found. And they ate the bodies to stay alive. The prototype has to die for this, for everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! <sighs> All right. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 